All right, hey collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember the spread that I'm pulling here is timeless for you guys, it's also general. So I need you guys to only accept the message if it's for you, if it's not, leave it for the next person. Also, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? So we're gonna jump into this energy and um, I need for you guys, like I always tell you, to please tap into your intuition. Only receive the message if you know it's for you, all right? So the first card of flaw here is we have the dark night of the soul. Right? We have the Ascendant and we have the Chosen One card that flew out here. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you Chosen individuals, you definitely have Ascended. A lot of you guys definitely went through some form of Dark Night of the Soul. Okay, some form of transformation. For a lot of you guys, it's about you guys growing spiritually. All right, so you definitely have went through some type of spiritual growth for a lot of you chosen individuals. All right, we have the angel number 777 out here. All right, so for a lot of you guys, it's some form of divine guidance, positive changes that's coming in for a lot of you guys because you definitely have, um, for a lot of you guys, went through some type of rebirth, some form of transformation. So it definitely is some form of change coming in, and this is going to be some form of positive change for a lot of you chosen individuals. Okay. You could be seeing 777 a lot, all right? We have the major changes. So something definitely is changing. Something major is changing for a lot of you chosen individuals because, like I said, you went through this rebirth that allowed a lot of you guys to grow spiritually, okay? All right? We have the cult or coven, all right? For a lot of you guys, you got a cult or coven that's intimidated right now, okay? Because some form of plot uh, for a lot of you guys backfired. Okay? I feel like a lot of you guys, you had a cult or coven that was determined okay, to block a lot of you chosen individuals, your ascension. Okay, Something backfired here though. All right? Now for a lot of you guys, this cult or coven can be even a karmic family. All right, So someone is definitely intimidated right now that they were not able to block a lot of you chosen individuals from ascending. Okay, We have the spiritual warfare. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you had a cult or coven that has been trying to put you guys through some type of spiritual warfare hoping that they can block you guys from ascending, from growing spiritually for a lot of you guys, okay? Um, and whatever, like I said, this growth is for a lot of you guys, it brought in some form of positive change. So you definitely had someone, um, some form of cult or coven that wanted to block this. Two, two, two is on the clock. It's a new beginning that someone has been trying to block, but something backfired here, okay, for a lot of you guys. We have the religious beliefs, all right? And look here, we have the Egyptian bloodline. So for a lot of you chosen individuals, I definitely feel like you had a cult or coven that has been trying to also put you guys through some type of spiritual warfare. And for a lot of you guys, it's because of your, um, your religious beliefs, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you could have had a cult or coven who has been attacking a lot of you guys because you have a different belief system than them, okay? For a lot of you um, chosen individuals, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's something about your bloodline, okay? A lot of you guys could definitely have some form of Egyptian bloodline. Um, for a lot of you guys, this could be your belief system, okay? Um, I feel like you guys had a cult or coven who did not... Um, like I said, agree with your beliefs. So also, this is why someone has been trying to put you through some type of warfare. This is why they have been trying to block your ascension for a lot of you chosen individuals, all right? But look here, we have the watching and envy. We have the spying and watching. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like whoever this cult is, they could be watching right now. They could be spying and watching a lot of you chosen individuals, okay? They're envious because they could not interfere or block this for you, this ascension, okay? This change that's coming in. We have the trigger card if you are here and look at this next card we have the interfering and we have the distractions so for a lot of you guys there's something about these people are triggered right now okay they could be trying to cause some form of interference for a lot of you chosen individuals okay um, it's some form of distractions that they could be trying to do, but don't even worry about it, okay? For a lot of you guys, you're being protected. Your angels are all around you, okay? They are protecting you from whatever it is that they're trying to do. I feel like someone is definitely upset that they couldn't block your transformation, okay? We have your angels are with you. We have the past over grandparent. So for a lot of you guys, this could definitely be grandparents that's protecting a lot of you chosen individuals from whatever it is that someone's trying to do, okay? And like I said, um, I'm picking up someone's just upset right now now that they could not stop this growth from coming in for a lot of you guys all right um we have the sage for cleansing all right so make sure you guys are doing some form of sage and cleanse this energy out because i definitely feel like this cult or coven could be projecting some type of energy towards a lot of you chosen individuals all right um make sure you guys are saging it's definitely going to reverse whatever it is that they're sending a lot of you guys okay and look we have the balance restored so definitely some form of balance is definitely being restored around a lot of you guys it's like someone could be projecting some type of energy to try to leave things in balance for you because they're upset 
upset that they couldn't stop this change, okay? All right, so make sure you guys are um, saging this energy out, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, just know that your angels are protecting you from whatever this is that someone's trying to do, all right? So some additional messages we have is raise your vibrations card that flew out here. So something about you guys right now, make sure you guys are raising up your vibrations, all right? Whatever it is that this cult or coven has been trying to do, the interference, the distractions, it's meant to put you in a low vibration, okay? All right, someone's hoping still that they can interfere with this change, but something's over with. A lot of you guys have ascended, okay? Um, we have the keeping tabs card. So it's something about someone definitely could be keeping tabs on a lot of you chosen individuals, all right? We have Wednesday out here could be significant. Today is Wednesday. No, today is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday, all right? Or Wednesday. It's significant when you guys see this video. We have blonde hair out here. We have younger water sign. We have the root chakra, okay? Which is for your stability and your security. So they could be trying to interfere with your um, with your stability, your forward movement, okay, for a lot of you guys. So make sure you guys are working on your root chakra, okay? Um, make sure you guys are grounding yourself, okay? We also have the older air sign out here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? Could be significant here. Um, but like I said, for a lot of you guys, it's like someone's upset that they couldn't block something for you, all right? This positive change that's coming in, all right? Um, for a lot of you guys, um, someone's upset that they couldn't stop you from ascending, okay? All right? Um, I feel like someone is definitely upset right now. They could be, um, like, projecting some type of distractions. But whatever it is, you guys are being protected from it. Um, we have the abundance gifts all right, we have celebration gifts in abundance. So for a lot of you chosen individuals, this could be regarding your gifts, all right? Something about you guys being celebrated in some form of way. This could be about your um, your spiritual gifts, okay? Because we did have the spiritual growth, all right? This could be some form of abundance coming in, all right? We have the lack and, um, lack and doubt, okay? All right, it's like somebody could be doing things to try to put you in some form of lack mindset, okay? It could be someone's trying to put you in some form of lack or doubt when it comes to your gifts, okay? All right, but it's upside down. So whatever it is that someone has been trying to do, it's not going to work, okay? Um, we have the toxic toxicity, bounds, and patterns. So you guys broke some form of chain, okay? For a lot of you guys, this is what I feel like brought some form of ascension in for a lot of you guys, or this will allow you guys to ascend. It's like you broke some form of pattern, some form of chain. Okay, a lot of you guys, you broke some form of generational curse out here. Okay, a lot of you guys. All right, I definitely feel like someone had definitely has been trying to stop you guys and is bringing in a wish fulfillment for a lot of you guys. Okay, whatever this positive change is going to be a wish fulfillment for a lot of you. All right, I feel like someone has been trying to block you guys from um, we have the renewal card that flew out here. Okay, so it definitely is some form of renewal. I'm hearing of your energy. I feel like these people have been trying to, we have the spirit guys, okay? Your spirit guys are, are definitely protecting you. This could be these grandparents, okay? That's assisting a lot of you guys. Um, like I said, it's some form of renewal that's coming in. Um, this could be with you energetically. I feel like these people have been energetically trying to um, interfere with a lot of you chosen individuals, this um, ascension, okay? So it's going to be some form of renewal of your energy here, okay? We have fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant. You could be a fire sign or this could be a fire sign, all right? All right. I'm definitely picking up for a lot of you guys. You can definitely be a feminine here or a masculine also, okay? All right. So let's see if we can get any more messages out here. I told you. A divine feminine okay you could definitely be a divine feminine that's going through this look we have the breakthrough card okay so it definitely is some form of change that's coming in it's a breakthrough that's coming in for a lot of you guys because you broke some form of pattern or you broke some form of change you went through this ascension okay all right for a lot of you guys all right I just feel like you have people mad right now because, um, look, we have the control tactics. It's upside down here, okay? So it's like somebody has been trying to control something or stop something. I told y'all somebody is spying and watching, okay? Someone's upset that whatever these control tactics that they were doing to try to block you guys' this ascension, it didn't work, all right? Somebody definitely is spying and watching a lot of you guys, okay? All right? 
We have, I've just seen the beliefs. So for a lot of you guys, this has a lot to do with your belief system, okay? This has a lot to do with a lot of you chosen individuals. Someone's upset. We have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out here. So this could definitely be an air sign, okay? That's fine and watching a lot of you guys, all right? Someone is very upset that um, I told y'all y'all went through a transformation, okay? Pluto energy. You went through a transformation. A lot of you guys went through the rebirth, okay? So something new is starting for a lot of you guys, okay? It's a new beginning that's coming in because you guys went through a transformation, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, this transformation um, for a lot of you guys was around a lot of you guys releasing, okay? All right? So someone definitely is spying and watching because of, look, because the cycle is done, y'all, okay? It's complete. You went through this um, ascension, so something's complete, something's changing. We have change on this card here. A lot of you guys went through the rebirth because we got the butterfly up there. So something definitely is changing. It's a major change that's happening, all right? Someone's upset right now, okay? But someone definitely is spying and watching a lot of you chosen individuals because some form of tactics that they were doing um, to try to control a lot of you guys, okay, is what I'm picking up. Um, it's not working. Whatever this coat or coven, we have, look, alchemy. We have ancestor guides, okay? So your ancestors definitely uh, was alchemizing this energy. Also something about a lot of you guys, your ancestors helping you alchemize some type of energy, okay? You are definitely being guided. We have earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that could be significant here, all right? A lot of you guys, all right? So we're going to pull out some more clarifying messages here, okay? So for a lot of you guys, it definitely is some form of positive change coming in, okay? For a lot of you guys, all right? Now this could be, um, for a lot of you guys, um, also this could be, like I said, this could be some form of abundance. This could be a relationship starting for a lot of you guys. This could be a union happen, okay? We have the thorn card that flew out here, okay? It says, protection boundaries clear communication okay and on this card it looks like the egyptian lady on here so some of you guys definitely have some form of egyptian bloodline you're being protected okay all right for a lot of you guys also it's something about you guys definitely um putting up some form of boundaries here okay so for a lot of you guys this definitely could be a uh, karmic family okay we have attracting like a rose okay we have received abundance desire Okay, so for a lot of you guys, it's something about you attracting something. This could be some form of abundance. Okay, whatever this this change is for a lot of you guys, you're attracting some form of change because you have ascended. Okay, all right. We have the sun card. Look at that. We have joy. We have joy, enjoyment, life force, success, vitality, play. Okay, it's all about you guys being in this like joy, joyful type of energy. Okay, the sun card, that's the best card. Okay, this could be some form of success that's coming in for a lot of you guys. Okay, but whatever this change is, I feel like it's definitely going to make a lot of you guys happy. We have the anointed card that flew out here. It says answer to call, leadership, empowerment, soul gifts. So for a lot of you chosen individuals, this definitely has a lot to do with your gifts. Some of you guys are definitely anointed. Okay, you have a gift. Okay. For a lot of you guys, this could be regarding you taking, um, answering a call around, taking some form of leadership. Okay. For a lot of you guys, regarding your gifts. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. We have the lineage of the rose moved by the, the goddess. Okay. Here for this so called gather. Okay. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, you are a divine feminine. Okay. All right. A lot of you guys. Definitely our divine feminine here. Let's see if we get one more out here. We have the child within. It says inner mother, innocence, gentleness, and tenderness. Okay. All right. So for a lot of you guys, when I'm picking up from this inner child within. Some of y'all could have definitely um, healed some form of inner child. Something to do with your inner child brought in some form of change also, okay? Some of you guys definitely healed the inner child, okay? 
for a lot of you guys. The, ch the inner child within a lot of you guys. So for a lot of you guys, that could have been some form of part of your, um, your ascension, okay? We have the roles of Venus, alignment, flow, right relationship, harmony. So like I said, for a lot of you guys, it could be some like relationship coming in for a lot of you guys. All right, something's coming into alignment for a lot of you guys, okay? Like I said, you guys are going to be in this like balanced harmony type of energy. This is the type of change that's coming in. Someone's upset about this, all right? For a lot of you guys, like I said, this change is major for a lot of you guys. And someone has been trying to block this, all right? Someone did not want you to go through this um, this uh, rebirth. They did not want you to go through this growth, okay, for a lot of you guys. Because it was bringing in a lot of new changes for a lot of you guys. A lot of new beginnings here, okay? We have the leadership card that flew over here again, okay? It says set your goals, all right? So it's all about you guys moving forward in this, like, leadership type of energy, okay? Something about being in this leadership type of role, okay? We have Angel of Miracles out here, okay? So something good is coming in for a lot of you guys. Make sure you guys are opening your heart chakra, okay? Look, we have the money card, okay? Find a way to abundance. So for a lot of you guys, this could be some form of abundance coming in. Whether this regarding your gifts, okay? All right, this could be an opportunity that's bringing in abundance for a lot of you guys. All right? But something definitely is coming in, okay? I keep seeing the um, trust your intuition. Okay, so something about you guys continue trusting your intuition because I feel like someone could be trying to interfere with that also for a lot of you guys. Um, we have moving forward. Okay. Look, I can't make it up, y'all. It says get ready for positive change. Okay. You guys are, are, are attracting some form of positive change right now. Okay. It's coming in for a lot of you guys. It's all about you moving forward. Okay. All right. It says get ready for positive change for a lot of you guys because it's coming in, all right? All right? We have letting go. And like I said, I was picking up a lot of you guys. It's something about you guys going through like um, this ascension where I feel like you have to do a lot of releasing, okay? Some of you guys still have some form of releasing to do, okay? It said learn to let go, okay, for a lot of you guys. I feel like you guys are releasing that's allowing... Um, new things to come in. You're releasing old, okay, to allow new to start, okay, for a lot of you guys, all right? Um, it's something about you guys releasing, okay? So continue releasing, letting go of things that no longer serve you um, for a lot of you guys, okay? Because you got good things um, that's coming in, okay? We have opportunity knots, okay? This could be an opportunity, okay, for a lot of you guys be like an opportunity that's coming in for a lot of you chosen individuals, right? Alright, that was two. We have the um, confrontation, okay? It says pick your battles wisely, okay? So for a lot of you guys, like I said, it could be people who's trying to um, distract you. They could be trying to cause interference. Um, it's something about you guys. Just pick your battles wisely, okay? Um, don't let these people... Um, distract you or these interference to stop you guys from I'm definitely picking up something about you moving forward okay um, don't allow the distractions to definitely trigger you or allow you to get out of character because I feel like this is what someone's trying to do with this interference okay all right so something about you guys pick your um, battles very wisely okay because you got a lot of new things positive change that's coming in all right I feel like someone's very much so upset Okay, so they're trying to interfere with a lot of you chosen individuals, all right? But something definitely is changing for a lot of you guys. So we're going to pull some zodiacs out here, okay? So we have cancer that flew out here. That could be significant. So this young water sign could be a cancer, or you could be a cancer. Take it how it resonates. I'm picking up Scorpio and cancer. We have Aries out here. That could be significant. We have Leo, all right? We have Gemini. We have Leo twice out here, okay? Five, five, something's changing for a lot of you guys, okay? This could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. We have Capricorn. All 
right? We have Virgo. We have water again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? It's also like, it's, it, these could be people who do not want you to um, leave them behind or it's like it's something about you moving forward. I, I feel like somebody's trying to stagnate a lot of you guys, okay? This is, this is why someone has been trying to stop you guys from ascending, okay? Whoever this is for a lot of you guys. We have Pisces out here. We're going to pull one more. We have the sun card and it's upside down. So this could have been like co-workers. This could have been a job that has been trying to slow a lot of you guys down, okay? But whatever it is that someone's doing, uh, whether it's because of your religious beliefs, um, they're upset that this change is coming in for a lot of you guys, it's not going to work, okay? Um, make sure you guys are saging this energy out, okay? For a lot of you guys, because you definitely have something that's coming in. It's positive change. It's major change that's happening for a lot of you chosen individuals, okay? I'm definitely picking up a lot of you guys. Like I said, you went through a transformation. It's something about you guys healing, okay? That's what I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. You can definitely be a divine feminine here, all right? But something definitely is break, um, coming through for a lot of you guys. It's a form of breakthrough that's coming in. All right? So that's what I have for you, Collective. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I will speak with you guys in a minute, and I love y'all so much. Bye.